a very important person. She got a tick. everyone, welcome to My Favorite Sandwiches. This episode brings us to the north end of Boston, Massachusetts. The north end is famous for its bakeries and many, many Italian restaurants. And we are hitting up one of the best Italian joints you will find anywhere, Dino's. Dino's is known for their great food and especially their giant 16 inch sandwiches. But the sandwiches aren't just huge, they are delicious. And today we are going to try their most popular sandwich, the Chicken Cutlet Parm. I took in the glorious aromas in the small cafe as they pan fried the breaded chicken and finished it off in the oven to melt the mozzarella. Once finished, they wrapped it up for me and Carrie and I made our way to the Old North Church and grabbed a spot in Paul Revere Mall where we could enjoy one of my favorite sandwiches. I hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and click notifications. We are in the north end of Boston. I have the appropriate t-shirt. And we are in the shadow or shadows of the Old North Church, which is actually called Christ Church. And it's closed right now on a Monday. Um, which is fine because we didn't come here for that. We came here for this. Look at that. Look at that. It's from uh, Dino's Cafe. This is the chicken farm and they told me this is their number one seller. But I already know this is one of my favorite sandwiches. <laughs> this is the first my favorite sandwiches I'm doing where I haven't actually tried the sandwich yet. Because I already know it's going to be one of my favorite sandwiches. All right, look at that. It's uh, how long? 16 inches? It's 16 inches and it was uh, $16. So it's a dollar an inch. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so let's, let's dig into that. All right, ooh, you hear that? Ooh, let's get that open here. I feel like I'm, I feel like it's uh, like I'm getting a package from Amazon and I'm excited to open it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. So what we got, we got chicken parm, their marinara sauce, mozzarella, looks like a little parsley on top. Um, first of all, the bread. How's that bread feel? Like Good. Crispy and soft yeah. at the same time. You wanna go first? No. At the same time? Sure. One, two, three. Oh, there's steam coming off. Oh. Mm. Man. That's good. The sauce is good. Oh, it's good sauce. You gotta have a good sauce for chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. You guys can see that. Look at that. They make it right there. I watched them do it. They take the, the color and they fry it fresh right there. That's good. So, this is a different episode of my favorite sandwiches because I hadn't had this sandwich before. I picked it for my favorite sandwiches, but I knew that people tell me, I've seen other videos, I knew I was going to have this sandwich, I knew I was going to love it. The only problem is not being in Boston, not being able to get this all the time. Yeah. The chicken's really easy to eat. Mm -hmm. you don't get that they, yeah, they pound it nice and thin. They pound it nice and thin, so when you bite, it's not pulling out. And also, the breading's staying on. Yeah. Sometimes when you get a chicken parm, 
the breading comes right off. Yeah. This is not doing that. Also, in my favorite sandwich videos, we, we talk a lot about things. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk about Boston. We're, in, we're on vacation in Boston. And um, it's getting towards the end of our trip. So what do you think of Boston so far? I like it because it's a mix of old and new. So there's elements that remind me of like European cities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then there's new American stuff as well. Um, and we learned that Boston was a lot smaller when it was founded, mm -hmm. that 75% um, of the main like peninsula city is man-made and it's expanded. I would say if I had any advice for people um, coming to Boston, don't rent a car. No. No. Uh -huh. I mean, you can drive, but so far we've, we've done everything by walking and the T or the subway. Mm -hmm. The subway, they call it the T here. Um, we walked everywhere. We haven't. And some Uber. Oh, and we Ubered, but we only Ubered because we didn't feel like walking. Yeah, we were tired. But everything was like 10, 15 minutes away. Um, yeah, everything was. Uh, matter of fact, I was sitting outside of a store when she was inside shopping. I was sitting next to this gentleman and his uh, son, and. They kept looking at different places and was like, oh, it's only five minutes away. Oh, it's only seven minutes away. Oh, it's only ten minutes away. Oh, it's only five minutes away. Everything is really close. The farthest place that we've had to go is Harvard. But even yeah. that was easy. Just a five-minute walk to the... Five, five ten minute the walk to the... Yeah, five, ten minute walk to uh, the subway station. And then... Um, and then we took the T all the way to Harvard and got up there. It was real easy. And Fenway Park was a little far, but um, we were going to take the subway, but it broke down. So we got a full Boston experience. Yeah, it, it, it broke down, so we just we got out real quick and got over because we didn't want to miss the start of the game. The only other thing is, I would say, if you're going to do the Harbor Cruise, which I recommend, you don't need to finish the Freedom Trail and go to Bunker Hill and the Constitution unless you're really into ships, right? Because the Harbor Cruise has a way better view of both. Even though you're right next to Bunker Hill, it's nice that you can see it right there and yeah. learn the history. You don't have to be right next to it. I'm not sure when this video is going to air. Um, it's going to air during our Boston videos or maybe even before the Boston videos. So maybe this is like a preview. For our boss videos, I'll just say that. I'll do that right here. So in this video, it's a preview of things you're gonna see in our boss videos that are coming up, right? She'll give you advice about the Freedom Trail. Um, at the end of the Freedom Trail, we walked the Freedom Trail, and she had a an, an idea which I thought was perfect. And um, when you see that, she'll tell you do it reverse. Well, now. Now that she has this info, she'll say, don't do the last two at all. Yeah. You can do the Freedom Trail up to the, the final burying ground, and then um, turn around or eat at the north end, because you'll be here in the north end. You'll be here. And then um, later take the sightseeing uh, tour, the horn, horn blower, and uh, you'll see in that, you'll see the Constitution, the battleship, you'll also see the battleship, it's not part of the battleship, yeah. the, the Constitution, and in the distance, you'll see the uh, Bunker Hill Monument. Great now, picture opportunity. Yeah, even yeah. though my picture didn't come out well, I thought it did, but it was kind of blurry. But when I was on the Harbor Cruise, I realized we walked a long way looking at, from here, the bridge, all the way over to Bunker Hill and the Constitution, I thought, that is a long way. It says it's 2.9 or something, I think 2.9 yeah. miles, but... You walk more because you're going, they, they in twist the, you in and yeah. out, but also you stop at shops, yeah. you stop at um, restaurants, um, bars. You actually go in the churches and you walk yeah, around. Yeah, go inside the churches and look around, like the North mm -hmm. Church, we walk yeah. around, look inside. Um, and the sandwich is so good. I keep thinking, I just want to keep eating the sandwich and not talk, which a lot of people probably 
Yeah, I just eat the sandwich a little top. I was hoping you were coming. Sure. I can't say enough about the bread either. The bread is so good. It is. It's soft, but it holds the sandwich. It's like it's like it's her, one of her favorite things of any any Italian restaurant, which is an American thing. It's not a yeah Italian thing. It's far. Well, we don't know all of Italy. We just know Rome and Venice, but. I don't give you garlic bread. No, no. <laughs> I wouldn't get garlic bread in, Amer American in America. Um, but um, it's like this would be really good for a garlic bread. Mm. Yeah, they have it. They have garlic bread. They sold, yeah, um, on this. I almost ordered it, but I said, why? I'm glad we split the sandwich because when we walk back, there's another sandwich. <laughs> All their sandwiches are 16 inches long. They have cold ones and they have hot ones, um, but there's another one. It's called the um, Sicilian steak. I think they make it with tri tip. Let me think. You guys see that? Look at that. I cannot recommend enough that if you go or you come to Boston, Dino's Cafe, get the chicken prawns. I was going to say it's my last bite, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bite. I savor it. I'm not a, I'm not a like a big, uh, you know, shove it all in there and scarf it down. Don't get me wrong. I eat fast. <laughs> I do eat. You know, like you know, like um, it's funny because sometimes I'll be at dinner with people and they're like, "Oh, you finished already?" So yeah, because I wasn't talking. That's the one time I don't talk. <laughs> they're all talking about stuff, blah blah blah, and I'm I'm eating my food. Last bite. Mm. As you can see, done, all finished. Um, and I only used, I only used one napkin. And I, didn't, I didn't get any on my shirt. That was good. I'm really happy with that sandwich, and I'm gonna be very, very honest with you guys. And that's the first, I mean, that's one of the few times I finished finished the whole sandwich fast. Um, I'm gonna get another sandwich. I'm gonna get another sandwich on the way back to the hotel. We have to walk by there. I mean, it's only not even five, so yeah. really, yeah. this was kind of lunch. Yeah, it was kind of, well, we didn't eat, um, we no. didn't eat breakfast and we had a, yeah. a snack earlier. So that's gonna do it for this episode of My Favorite Sandwiches. The first ever, um, out of California, the first ever uh, sandwich I haven't eaten before, I proclaimed it to be one of my favorite sandwiches. But I was correct. You were. It was. Pretty that good. was good. It was a damn fine sandwich. Sorry about the language. <laughs> anyway, if, if you guys could do us a favor, you know, um, I always say make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click notifications, but also tell your friends. Share this video with your friends. Say, man, look at these sandwiches, guys. We got to try this sandwich when we get a chance. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video.